Hello, hello, Satnam. I'm Stephanie Marco. Welcome to WGC. Today we're going to do our fourth part in our 16-part series for Kundalini Yoga for weight loss uh, and weight maintenance. And of course, a healthy diet and all of the other things that are needed to have a really loving body uh, are part of this. But this is a great way, these, these small little steps that you can take really help change your neural pathways in your body to start thinking about food differently, thinking about cravings differently, and changing what you crave. So try it and commit to it for at least 30 days and see how your body can change just with one of these practices every day. So as with every Kundalini Yoga set, we tune in with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. This means I bow to the inner teacher within myself for guidance. Come in a nice seated space. Your sit bones grounded beautifully into the earth. Back is straight. The chin is tucked in slightly. Eyes are right, rubbing together now. Start generating some energy through the body and bring thumb to the sternum at the chest bone. Inhaling and just gently expanding your belly. Taking a nice deep breath, bringing the breath up into the chest and exhaling through the nose. Emptying the belly slowly and inhaling to tune in. Suspend the breath and tighten your navel, your rectum, and your organs. Up your spine from your sex organs into your sacrum, into your into your heart, up into the throat, to the back of the third eye and up into the crown. Exhale. Coming with the hands open. And just feeling yourself connected to your oneness with everything. And let's just start some circles with the pelvis, bringing the chest forward on the inhale and curling backwards on the exhale. 
opening up the spinal energy. Inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam, truth of my identity. Just starting really gently, not pushing. Letting your lower spine, where all this Kundalini is coming, just open up. Inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam. And changing directions. Maybe moving a little bit faster. Circulating this energy in the prana. Coming back to center. And doing our ego eradicator. We'll bring our hands open, bringing the fingertips to the pillows of the palms. Thumbs are wide, extended over the head in your arc line, thumbs pointing towards each other, 60 degrees. Rolling the eyes up and inward to the third eye point and beginning a gentle pumping with the navel of breath of fire. Navel comes in on the exhale. And we're gonna do this for one minute, going as quickly or slowly as you need. Women, if you're pregnant or on your moon cycle, just take long, deep breaths. Do not pump your navel. Ten more seconds. And inhale. Bring the thumbs together over the head, stretching up, stretching up, holding, bringing the energy through your body, applying root lock, holding your navel, sex points, and rectum, pulling the energy up, up, up. And spreading the hands wide and bringing them down, feeling your aura brighter, lighter. So the set we're going to do is the fourth part of our series and we're going to come standing. We're going to do a standing bending series. Bring the feet a little more than shoulder width apart. They're wide, arms are wide. And we're going to just slowly bend at the waist all the way as far as you can go without hurting or pushing, keeping the arms outstretched. 
Head is loose and limber at the bottom. And we're going to inhale up and bend backwards. Arching the back without straining ourselves. And repeat this back down. If you get a little dizzy, you can open your eyes to catch your balance, but try to keep the eyes closed or nine tenths of the way closed. Remembering to inhale very deeply at the top. And relax. Letting yourself bend backwards a little more every time. This is an incredible movement to get the body to start pulling the prana from the lower chakras all the way through the spine into the crown. So that's what we're doing. We're just generating this beautiful life force energy that's sitting and waiting to be activated. And we're inviting it with our breath and our movement to open us more and more to come up into our third eye and into our crown. The spinal column is such a powerful channel in our bodies. And this is a beautiful way to take care of it. Three more. Opening yourself just a little more at the top each time, these last two. And 
come with your eyes closed and just relax for a moment. Feeling this energy. And now we're going to stay in the same position. We're going to open our arms and we're going to bring the right hand to the left hand. And then we're going to just slowly bend down to the left. To touch the left foot if you can or as far as you can go. Head is loose. And then we're going to come back up, open our hands, and then slowly to move to the right in a twisting motion, and bring ourselves down to the right, and relax, not competing with ourselves or with anyone who's with us, just doing what we can. And coming to standing, and opening again and moving to the left again. So we're going to do this for three minutes. Inhaling up and exhaling down, being really gentle with ourselves. Opening ourselves on the inhale and on the exhale contracting and allowing ourselves to just express and relax. Really letting your breath guide you. Getting out of the mind. Into the breath. Yoga is a system of triangles, and we're exploring these triangles quite literally in this very subtle yet powerful Kriya. powerful practice of just having some gentle self-love. A 
and moving through your meridians and your different parts of your orc field using the power of a triangle. And our final two. Inhaling up, sitting with the arms open for a moment, feeling how divinely beautiful you are. And exhale, relax. And this set calls for now a three minute relaxation. So come into a position that's relaxing for you. You can sit in easy pose. You can lay in Shavasana as you like. Just completely letting go. Feel your hips melting into the ground beneath you. Completely relaxed. Your spine is relaxed. Your shoulders and neck and chest. Just completely letting go. Relax your heart. Relax your belly. Relax your brow and your jaw. And go into the sacred space that you've created for yourself. And if you have never done this, find a sacred space. Sensing your hands relax. The wrists and the ankles melting into the surface beneath you. And letting go now. Chest is relaxed. Shoulder blades are relaxed. Sensing your breath deep and relaxed. Relax your eyes. Relax your throat. And just let go. Sense your body letting go. Relax your pelvis. Your 
inner thighs. Relax. Sense your knees and calves. Letting go. Inhale. And as you exhale, completely let go. Inhale and expand yourself, filling your whole self with as much air as you can sip. Expanding, expanding the chest and the belly. Filling every cell in your body with oxygen. Breathe in a little more. And exhale and let go. And slowly opening the eyes a bit. Gently bringing yourself back into your body. Wiggling the fingers and the toes a bit. Rolling the neck. to the other side. A little spinal movement. If you're laying down, you can do a cat stretch. Just start wakening the body a bit. And when we're ready, coming back into a standing position for the final part of this exercise. Again, legs are wide. And arms are wide. And we're going to come down with the right hand to the left foot, leaving the left hand outstretched, arms straight behind you. And then without coming forward, we're going to move the left hand to the right foot, bringing the right hand up, arms straight. And we're just going to slowly rotate. Inhaling left, exhaling right.
Allow your breath to guide you. Really deepening the breath. Going at your own pace, not competing, not rushing or forcing. Really letting your intuition guide you and your breath support you. Letting whatever comes up in this exercise be addressed. You might start feeling some anger. And it's all okay. Really let it be seen. opening up meridians in the shoulders. That's where a lot of aggression is stored. It's perfectly fine to just let your breath release whatever you need to release. The last three. Two. Three. Slowly let yourself hang in the center for a moment. <sighs> Inhaling and letting out a nice big exhale. And slowly rolling up. Taking a moment with yourself to just feel any shifts. And please come laying Shavasana. For our final relaxation. Arms are wide so the shoulders can relax. 
Feet are wide so the hips can relax. Eyes are closed. And we're going to just sense our face. coming to our lips and feeling our lips smile. Feeling a smile connecting to our heart with our lips. And sense your eyebrows smile. Your cheeks and chin smiling. Sense your eyes filled with a smile. Let your whole face smile. Sense your throat smiling. Your shoulders upper arms, shoulder blades, happy and smiling. Sense your chest and heart just filled with the smile. Thanking our lungs and sensing them smiling. Our bellies. and lower back, beaming with the joy of a smile. Our fingertips, hands and wrists, smiling. Thanking our hips, our pelvis, lower back, just letting it open and smile. Sense your thighs smiling. your sex organs filled with the beauty and joy of a smile. Your knees are smiling. Shins and calves, thanking them as they smile. Your ankles, heels, smiling. 
smile. Your feet happy with a smile. Every toe smiling. Let your whole self smile. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful Kriya and meditation with me today. These small subtle changes that we make every day really can add up. If you like this set, you can also feel free to repeat all of the parts up to five times each and moving up to five minutes per set. And try to do this for the next 30 days and see how you feel. And if you like this video, please subscribe and click the like button below. Make any comments you might have. We're always welcoming those. I'm Stephanie from that Tantra Life. You can find me at www.thattantralife.com or at Steph underscore Marco on Instagram. Satnam and be well. So Love and light.